Greetings, everyone, and welcome once again to the Book of Genesis, part of the Christ Honoring Commentary series written by my pastor, Brother James W. Knox, and he's the pastor of the Bible Baptist Church in Deland, Florida, and this is the cover of the old book, and this book is not in print right now, and uh, as far as in uh, book format, but you can get a PDF file, I believe, on the church website, or you can contact the church to find out how to get a PDF file of this uh, particular book. And uh, most of Brother James's books can be found at www.jameswnox.org or go straight to the store part of the website, which is store.jameswnox.org and look them up that way. And I'm preaching and teaching from God's Word also on the website. And uh, then the YouTube channel is James Knox Sermons YouTube channel where you can find the video presentations of all the um, past and present sermons that he's done throughout the years, including the new one um, that he's been doing on the prayer closet uh, series of sermons so uh, check those out there and a really good one that he had this morning and uh, so check that out there and uh, now let's go ahead and uh, we'll get into the um, topic for today for August 4th here in a few minutes but first I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who is the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world and he too can be your Lord and Savior today if he's not already and that is the most important thing you can ever do is trust Jesus, believe on him, and have your sins washed away, and admit you're a sinner, and you're dead in trespasses and sin, and can't save yourself, and no man can save you, and nothing else can save you but Jesus Christ. And that's God's way, narrow way, but you need to get on that narrow way to, to life. Amen? All right, so let's go ahead and get into today's topic for August 4th, this third and final part on this three-part series of messages we started on the 2nd titled Limping Through Trials and Trouble, Part 3 from Genesis Chapter 33. And if you missed any of these, you can go back and watch those in their entirety uh, there. So let's go ahead now and read what Brother James wrote as he concludes this uh, third part of uh, the series of messages. So he says here, uh, Yesterday we saw that Esau sought to enter into fellowship with Jacob by giving his brother some control over the course of their walk together but jacob wisely pointed out that they have two different ways of walking he now cares for others not himself and he knows that esau's way would harm his family verse 13 jacob does not speak with a haughty or condescending spirit he simply makes it known to the man of the world that he cannot travel with him under any circumstances so Let's take heed of that when somebody comes up to us and, and wants us to go their way. So make sure we tell them that we can't go that way because our ways are different. So, and under any circumstances. So there's that. And next, he continues on and says, uh, So the worldly man tries another approach. By use of flattery, Esau seeks to infiltrate the household of Jacob. Verse 15. Oh, we admire the way you are raising your children. Don't get us wrong. We have nothing against your beliefs. Oh, pardon my French. Ha ha. I didn't mean to use those words around your, you fine people. Yes, yes, that's good. We go to church ourselves some uh, now and then. Don't, or doesn't it just make you want to scream? So those are some of the things that they will say to you when they're talking to you. So doesn't that just make you want to scream when they say things like that. Uh, Jacob says politely, that won't be necessary. Verse 15, we can refuse the men and ways of this world without being rude or offensive, right? Uh, but refuse them we must. So let's refuse them and be kind about it. And so that's that uh, there. Next, uh, Brother James writes, uh, says here, Seer and Succoth are in opposite directions, verse 17. The believer is going one way, the man of the world is going another. The only possibility of their walking together is for one of them to abandon the path he is on, right? Make sure, Christian, that the one who changes direction is not you. Yeah. And then he concludes with this. Uh, Shalom means uh, peace. Uh, Shechem means safe and sound verse 18 the right road leads to the right destination follow the path of righteousness 
and you will reach the place of peace. So, praise God. So let's take heed of these things on this final uh, part of this series of messages, Limping Through Trials and Trouble. And so that is it for today. So the topic, and tomorrow for the 5th, we'll be going over this topic on care of the lambs. And this is on page 278, or yeah, 278 and 279 of the copy of the book I have. And so we have all these um, uh, different outlines here that we'll be going over in Genesis 33, verses 13 and 14. And we'll read those passages again uh, really quick before we get into the topic when we get into that tomorrow. And then for the six, we have this topic titled, The Old Deceiver Raises His Head. And then on the seventh, we have notes on Genesis 33. And so that'll conclude the uh, messages from uh, Genesis 33. And then on the eighth, we'll start in on this uh, uh, series of messages about uh, the tragedy regarding Dinah, part one. And this goes from the eighth all the way to to the 14th so that'll be from the 8th through the 14th on a series of messages the tragedy regarding Dinah part 1 through 7 so we'll be getting into those topics um, here in a few days so and that will be from Genesis 34 and we'll read the entirety of Genesis 34 first and then get into these uh, messages here so that's something to look forward to for the next uh, uh, week almost so Amen. All right, so put that there. And again, this is the cover of the book there. And you can find most of Brother James's books again at www.jameswnox.org. And that's the church website there. And then if you want to go back and listen to any of these, uh, or watch any of these videos, uh, video broadcasts from uh, the book of Genesis and the Baptist Bread uh, broadcast, you can go do that by going to Facebook and scrolling down and trying to look them up that way or easier yet. Go to the YouTube channel, which is Ambassador for Christ Broadcasting, and look me up that way. Or type in Baptist Bread Broadcast and look me up and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm posting these up on the YouTube channel there. So that's uh, where you can find um, the video presentations of uh, the Baptist Bread and the uh, Book of Genesis um, series here that I've been reading from Brother James's book. So, amen. All right, well, that's about it for today, so thanks for watching, and may the Lord richly bless you. Until next time, bye-bye for now.